Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we are gonna try something new today. So we're gonna make Sour Patch Kids watermelon enchilados. So I don't really like candy that much. I'm more of a chocolate person, but these are one of my favorite candies, the watermelon one. And he loves the Sour Patch Kids, so we decided to try these. And then um, I love chamoy, so I thought it would be perfect. I love the tahini and all of that. So of course, um, we are gonna need so, oh good. Sour Patch Kids. Um, we're gonna need four containers. We're gonna use two little ones and then uh, two bigger ones. We have two spoons. Um, we're gonna be making two different, two different ways. So that's why we have two of everything. Um, we have this. It's kind of like the tamarindo. We need to melt it. Um, we have some powdered sugar. And then we have three different kinds of chili powders. Okay, and then two different kinds of uh, chamoy. Okay, so this is the first time we're doing anything like this. Uh, the measurements might not be exact because um, it really just depends on your preference. Maybe you want it, you want to have more tahini, maybe you love chamoy like me and you want to add a whole bunch of it. And it also depends on the size of the bag. So we bought a big bag and then we have smaller bags. So all of the measurements are going to depend on those different things. So the recipe that we're going to follow, um, even then, we don't know if it's going to come out perfect, but you can always add more chamoy at the end or more, more tahini. First thing we're going to do is add about half a cup of sugar into our container here. Next, we are going to add a little bit of chamoy. We're gonna to have to add a little bit at a time. We're gonna to try to get it to like a like a thick texture, and then we're gonna mix it all up. to microwave for about 10 seconds all right we're gonna add the bag of sour patch kids it's a small bag we're gonna add the whole thing it's not that much in there but it's something okay time to mix it up So now we're gonna add the chili powders. Starting with the Lucas. We got the Lucas. Then the tajin or tajin. It smells strong. Ooh, it does. It does. What is this one? Forritos. The forritos chilito. chilitos next. Ooh, look at that. All right, so this is looking pretty good right now, but we need to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes so it can thicken up because it's still a little bit runny. But we already tried the chili and it's bomb. We tried the chili and it's good. <laughs> Right, so for recipe number two, the only difference is that we're gonna use the forritos instead of the powdered sugar. So inside of this box is this right here, okay? And we need to cut it into bits, which is like this, it looks like this, and we need to melt them. Before putting in the microwave, we are going to add some chamoy. We're gonna mix it up in there. All right, so we put it in the microwave for about 25 seconds. So this ended up being uh, about one tablespoon of the forritos. Uh, we chopped it up and ended up being a tablespoon of both chamois combined. All right, since we only made a little bit of this mixture, we're only gonna put 
some of the Sour Patch Kids watermelon from the big bag into this container. Careful, don't put them in. For the the mixture of the forritos and the chamoy. Time to add the chili powders. This is the first one that we made with the powdered sugar. We added a little bit more of the Sour Patch, just cause it had a little bit more of, uh, of the mixture. And then this is the second one. So we made a little bit less mixture, but they both look so good. Can't wait to try. All right, so finally we're gonna get to try it. We're gonna try the first one with the powdered sugar. Oh, you nervous? Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. All right. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Mm. This is really good. Mmm. <laughs> this is bomb. I already like the Sour Patch Kids watermelon by itself. Mm -hmm. Now if you add this, Mixture with it. Really good. I I don't know. I love it. I love it. It's really good. It's gonna be hard to top this one. Mm. I want this one. <laughs> okay, so now this one is the one without the powdered sugar, um, but it had the the forritos. Mm -hmm. It had the forritos. So it's pretty much like tamarindo. All right. Let's see. And I really do like the other one. Oh man. Cheers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. This one's good too. This one's good too. <laughs> I think this one's a little bit more like spicier. Maybe because there was less mixture, but. I think it might also be the powdered sugar though. This one doesn't have the sugar. This one doesn't have the sugar. That's true. Mmm, my God, they're yeah, both good. They're both good, but mm -hmm. I think if you prefer having more chili, you'll go with the second mixture. And a little bit sweeter would be the first. Okay. Yeah. But I really do like this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, this one, I'll give it like a 9 out of 10. I give this one a 10 out of 10. It's that good. I, I recommend it. It's that good. It's all gone. We finished them. No, I'm just joking. Um, let us know if you tried something like that before or if you have any other like recipes. Or if you tried making our recipes. Or if you tried making our recipes, yes. But like we would also like to see your guys' recipes. Uh, you can also make them with uh, different candies. We only did the watermelon because that's a, that's a type of candy that we both like. But you can do Gushers. Some people do Skittles. You can do... Um, the regular Sour Patch Kids, but we just really wanted the watermelon one. Yeah. But you can get creative with this. I know. I, I can only imagine <laughs> how many things we can do, but this is our first time doing this. Uh, I think we'll make some other ones. We have the ingredients. This is bomb. <laughs> yeah, this is bomb. We do have ready the ingredients, so we might try <laughs> making some other stuff. Wow, that, that was really good. Um, so thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.